Hi everyone, I'm Chef Susie with LearnToCook.com. Today I'm going to be making a swirled berry souffle. And I've got my berry mixture started on the stove. I've got some blackberries and some raspberries, a little bit of granulated sugar, and a little bit of lemon. It's going to add a little bit of flavor and tanginess. And I'm just kind of bringing this to a little bit of a boil. And as soon as these berries start to cook a little bit, I'm going to be adding a cornstarch and water mixture, which is going to help thicken this whole mix up a little bit. And then when we're finished, we're going to whip some egg whites with sugar, fold them together, put them in our ramekins, and bake them in a 400 degree oven. So we want these berries to just start cooking and softening a little bit before we go ahead and add the cornstarch which is just gonna finish off the mixing and thickening process. So the blackberries are gonna take just a little bit longer because they're just a little bit firmer. The raspberries break up easily because they're a little bit of a more delicate berry. You can kind of feel the blackberries if they're starting to soften a little bit. That means they're just about ready. So we're going to go ahead and add our thickening agent. And then we're just going to mix this until it kind of all comes together. And this cornstarch and water mixture, I'm just mixing a little bit in at a time. And this way I can keep up with it. It won't get away from me and it's not gonna get chunky at all. So it's already starting to get thick and it's coating the berries nicely. And it's just gonna be a nice mix. And since it's piping hot on the stove, we're just gonna let it cool off a little bit. It can be a little bit warmer than room temperature when we fold it into our egg white mix. So we're just going to bring this to a simmer so it can finish cooking. Now that our berry mixture has had a chance to cool off a little bit, we're going to go ahead and whip our egg whites and our remaining sugar. I've got them in the sand mixer here. And we're just going to mix them until they're a soft peak, not too loose, but we don't want it to be dry. Otherwise, it's going to break down when we add the berry compote. So I have half of the sugar and the egg whites in the bowl. I'm whipping them on a medium high speed and then I'm going to be adding the remainder of the sugar. You don't want to mix them at too high of a speed because you're just going to be whipping out any air that you put in. So medium high is fine. Keep a close eye on it. They're going to take a little while though. They're a nice, um, they're a soft peak, a little firm but not dry at all. We're going to go ahead and add about a third of the berry mixture. And we're just going to gently fold this in so it has kind of a swirl effect. And then we're going to put the remaining mixture in the bottom of the ramekin. And I'm just gently folding. I'm not going to be mixing it on all the way because we want to have that swirl effect that we are talking about. You want it to pick up some of the flavor. And that's our swirled meringue. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of the berry mixture in the bottom of the ramekin. I'm going to use my disher scoop to just scoop the meringue mixture over the berry mixture. We're going to be mounding this up a little bit. It's going to rise some on its own too. So let's sprinkle the pistachios on top and then we'll pop them in the oven. Okay. Now that the souffles have a nice golden brown color on top, we're going to serve these immediately so they don't have a chance to fall. 
So have your plates and your silverware ready to go. And these were in a 400 degree oven for about eight to 10 minutes. Keep an eye on them until they turn nice golden brown color on top. It's gonna go quickly, like I said, eight to 10 minutes. So thanks for joining me today at learntocook.com. Well, thanks for joining us today at learntocook.com. Be sure to comment and to subscribe. Also visit us on Facebook and Twitter. Have a great day and thank you.